Hi guys, welcome. I just had a what if that I hope will be a game changer. When you're building ISOs, we have now a personal folder on your ISO. And I'll make an example. I've already made one for Excel. So XS and Excel and XD are all the same, but the B guys are a little bit different. So I'll make an example for the B. And then it's up to you to try it out, see if you like it, if you, the idea, concept of it is appealing or not. Control C, we're building our own Arcanlinx B, awesome, in here, like so. Voila. We've got our Arco awesome, and suddenly there's a new folder called personal. If you think you can make a better awesome configuration, put it in here. And by way of example, let's get our own desktop awesome configuration in. This one, right? Control C and put it in here. So this is your ETC scale, so to speak, like so. So this is a folder that's gonna go on your future system. Take a look at mine. This is my system. I have a folder personal. And in here is the look you see now. This is the look that from time to time I wanna to go to. So I type personal, that's it. I have my servant icon set, I have my wallpaper set, I have my theme set, that's it. It takes a few letters to type. The alias personal, reboot, done. So this is something similar can be done for awesome. You have a folder in here and just to show you that something is changed well actually need to change something right and for example the theme is now gonna be the colored one the multicolor so if i say let's take another one power arrow blue number three it will show agreed okay so we figured out our completely new uh, awesome we have added 30, 40 themes to it, etc., etc. You put it all in there. You can even put some wallpapers in there if you want to, right? There's nobody who says you can't do that. So if I wanted to make a hidden folder called wallpaper and then later wallpapers and later say to variety, it's going to be there, my friend. That's cool. That's, that's good as well. So the wallpapers, a few wallpapers, just get grab a few. The ones from Brad, why not? A few from Brad, Control C, and then we go back to, well, to here, <laughs> Control V. So these are the wallpapers I just want to see. So a few wallpapers from Brad Heffernan. So it's all gonna go on the ISO because of the fact that we now have in the Arcanlinx B's a separate folder because in here is nothing. What we do for all the B's is get the XL version, Arcanlinx XL, and then add, well, change <laughs> the package list. What Lego blocks? Well, the Lego blocks from Awesome or the Lego blocks from VSPWM, etc. So now we run the script. That's all you need to know. Like usual, you run the script. 40 if you already done it and I've already done it a few hours ago. So I'm just going to build an Arcanlinx B awesome. It will contain and you can follow it. It will contain wallpapers, my own configuration, the Arcanlinx D build, B build. There we are. One up. Arcanlinx B build. That's it. We'll have a personal folder. Control H. The wallpapers will be there and the configuration of awesome will be there and that's gonna be fun because we can make a personal iso a personal arclinx b iso and it will still be pure pure arclinx uh, design in the beginning and then you type an alias a simple alias called personal and suddenly Bam, you've got your own. Awesome. Let's pause here and wait for the ISO. 
And then suddenly there it is. We have an Arclinx B, awesome. But it has now wallpapers. <laughs> yeah, just because we had, we felt like it. Simple as that, that's why we did it. It's because we felt like it. So let's first be sure that we have it all set correctly. So my friend, gonna double check if you're booting up with the correct one. Choose a disk file, go to Arclinx B out. Go to awesome and it's 710 727 okay that's the new one and then we start so what we'll see is the same iso as before but this one is personalized haven't touched anything in the packages you could do that as well add vivaldi add chromium add google chrome add arclinux meta uh, Steam and so on and so on. So now we wait for um, this to boot up. And it's the general Calamaris installer that will get. Everything will be normal. Everything is yeah, the same as always, right? The look will be the same and that's good. So first off, everything is left to Arclinux to the Calamaris, to the installer, everything is done separately, which is good for future updates, right? It does not intervene, it does not conflict with anything. It just gets things done, voila, let's do the password correctly. And then we say next, next, and then we wait again for the installation of this. And now the fun starts, right? You restart your system, any desktop you have, doesn't matter, just an example and awesome. But then you boot up, you get again the normal look from awesome, from Arcolex. Uh, cancel, quit. Ctrl Alt T, then you type your alias called personal, and then Super Shift R. Voila, you've got your own system. You see here that it's all blue. In Awesome, we can just do Super Shift R and some other tiling window managers as well. Otherwise, you reboot and you'll see that the, well, your config has been overwritten. Let's have a look at the wallpapers. Are they there as well? We have our wallpapers present on our system. The only thing we have to tell is to Variety, dear Variety, go get the wallpapers from somewhere else, not from here, but they are actually hidden in Eric wallpapers. Okay, close. And then you can just go for the wallpaper selector and say, we're gonna choose this guy, close. All right, as easy as that. I hope you see the possibilities like I do and start building ISOs and using that personal folder there. All right, cheers.